Hey YouTube, I wanna say thank you because there are thousands of people signed up for the free private training. It's only a couple days away. If you're not signed up for it, there's a link below. Go sign up right away. Do you watch these videos for ASMR? Do you watch these videos because they help you relax? Well, guess what? I invented a technique that allows you to access that medicine that's already inside of you without having to watch a video, without having to hear anything. It's right there. It's an easy technique to learn. It only takes one breath to activate this medicine. Sign up below, hurry up, go right now. It's only a couple days away. I don't know if it's gonna be there forever. This is your chance, go do it. I'll see you there, bye. Um, it usually hurts the most in my lower back and sometimes like behind my shoulder blade. Okay, let's talk about the lower back pain first. Is it like after a long day of stuff? Do you wake up in the morning with stiffness? Usually it's after I've worked or after I've worked out. Um, or especially when it's my time of a month. Definitely been bothering me for four months, if not longer. Okay, very but good. lately, I know within the past two months, I have been working out a lot more than I usually have. Okay. So, so you're getting more low back pain with, with just working out. And you've been working out more than usual. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's significant. All right, um, let's talk about this stuff up here by your shoulder. Is that about the same time period, about four months? Is that newer, older? Um, No, but whenever I do experience uncomfortableness in my back, it's usually always my shoulder blades. Okay, both mm -hmm. sides equally, one side more than the mm -hmm. other? I would say more so my right, and my right is my dominant. Do you have any other like ankle, knee stuff? Oh, knee. Mm -hmm. What happened? Um, that has been going on since I was a kid. Um, especially when I'm active and walking and using my legs a lot I get um, sometimes my knees even get swollen but it's especially when I bend them um, it almost feels like I'm having a hole or something in my knee um, they took x-rays and they did diagnose me I don't remember was what it was called it started with a P but they said that I can do rehabilitation exercises and stuff like that to strengthen my muscle was it patellofemoral pain syndrome mm, yeah okay that's a very fancy word for mm -hmm. your knee hurts yeah. And they don't know why. <laughs> okay, so we'll just check out the knee and the structures around it too. Uh, do you take any pharmaceutical medications? No. Do you take any supplements, any vitamins, mm -hmm. herbs, minerals? Sometimes I do fenugreek, but that's not every single day. Why? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I do sweat. I have BO, like, you know, in my armpits and stuff, so okay. I take it because it gives you more of like um, a CeraVe smell, like a maple smell. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fascinating. Yeah. Okay, um, do you use deodorant? Yes. Regular, just off yeah, the shelf? Yeah, every day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like, the ingredients of those off-the-shelf deodorants aren't, like, always in harmony with our, our natural body chemistry. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds crazy and, and probably really risky in your mind to do this, but have you ever tried not using the deodorant? No. Or maybe using, like, an, an alternative form of Well, um, I heard about using lemons or limes. Mm -hmm. um, I did that, like, maybe twice, but I wasn't consistent with it. Well, what's your diet like? Um, honestly, I choose to eat what I want, but it's not a whole lot of junk food. I try to eat my big three meals and not snack in between. Yeah. Um, but usually... How much water do you drink? Um, I would say at least minimum five cups a day. Okay examine your spine and then after that we'll get adjusted I'll walk you through the process step by step okay. so there won't be any surprises and, uh, and then we'll see we'll go from there all right sounds good okay looking at the feet first heel strike mid stance and toe off looks symmetrical both sides I don't see any issues there you said it was the left knee mm-hmm I do see internal rotation of that left knee go ahead and turn right the other way yep so a little bit of that and then and then the knee is angulated in okay, looking at the shoulders there's a high left shoulder uh, it looks like there's a course, it looks like the head tilt goes the same direction, we'll see it on the way back. Okay, definitely a high left shoulder, and then the, the head tilt looks like, very, very even. Stop right there for a second. And then, high left shoulder, and then it does look like the head goes in right lateral flexion towards the same direction. Look at your arms drop. Good. We have a high right hip that matches the high left shoulder. And then, it is slightly... Right lateral flexion, but minimal, if nothing. Definitely an internal rotation there. I'm gonna to touch the bottom of your feet, okay? Okay. All right, arches are intact, both sides symmetrical. Go ahead and freeze the other way. Good. And not much bowing here. I think there there is a little bit of bowing on this, on the left Achilles tendon. Very slight amount of pronation. That's just from this angulation right there. Okay, beginning with observation, looking at your spine, 
We def certainly have a high left shoulder. Turn back down to the hip. Good seated position. Your hips are even out, but still slightly higher on the right. And the head is very close to center. Very literal lateral flexion. Have your great head posture. Okay, very gentle scan on the top of your spine. Okay, I'm gonna do a, uh, a temperature evaluation with the back of my hands. So I just came in from outside, so my hands are a little bit too cold for this test right now. But the, the moisture consistency in your skin is good. There's no excessive dryness, no excessive dampness. Okay, I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper into your spine. Okay, any tenderness here? Mm -mm. 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 No SI joint tenderness in the seated position, that's good. Ticklish? Mm -hmm. trigger point right here. That's muscle though. Does this over here feel like this over here? Mm. Not exactly, no. Which side is a little tighter? Right. Okay, there's a little bit of tightness in the upper thoracic. Mm -hmm. A little bit on this rhomboid here, spinal here. Some muscle stuff going on. But your spine is very, uh, very straightforward. Nice up and down, straightforward. No deviations to the left or right. You don't have any herniated discs, no pinched nerves here. No curvatures in your spine. Just some trigger points in the muscles, and uh, we're gonna dig a little bit deeper and see where else your spine needs to be adjusted. Let's see, I'm gonna push into the lumbar spine. Okay, any discomfort or tension here? Mm, no. L4, any discomfort or tension here? Mm. Now that feels a lot different though. There's a lot of flexibility mm -hmm. here versus here. You feel that restriction? Mm -hmm. Good, is it tender when we go there or here? Mm, no. Got a little bit of a restriction there. We're gonna to have to push down into the joint to find something a little bit deeper. Okay, let's test the, the glute muscles here. Good. Does the left feel like right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, glute medius and glute maximus, the superior borders are actually symmetrical. No, sorry, no SI joint tenderness. And glute muscles are symmetrical. Just a little bit of restriction on the L5 and a little bit of hypertonicity in the musculature on the right. So primarily we're, gonna, we're looking at this L5 segment so far for the cause of your low back pain. Mm. We'll push in a little bit deeper to verify that. Let's do this now. I'm going to test the range of motion in your neck. Go and bring your shoulder, your chin down to your chest. Good. Okay, good movement in the lower cervical spine there. Okay, now let's uh, bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Okay, big difference here. Do you feel a difference going mm -hmm. left? Yeah, which side feels more restricted? Mm, this way. 
Left lateral flexion restriction. So I'm gonna look at your glute folds. You're gonna feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Let your arms relax. Okay, tracing up to the bottom of the glute fold. Is lower on the right, that means the right hip is back like this. Okay, and then looking from the top, they look, uh, bring your toes together so your toes are even. Okay, then looking from the top, they look pretty even, but the left one, left glute comes out a little bit, which means your left hip is externally rotated. Okay, looking at the spine, no deviations to the left or right, no rib pumping. Go ahead and close your eyes. We're looking for very small swaying motions. A little bit of front or back sway there, very stable. You can see it wants to go right, you want to go right, and then that left, that's where that left high shoulder comes from, is your inclination to tilt to the right. But your head is straight on, mostly forward and back, tiny bit to the right. Okay, you can open your eyes. It's category one, it means you have a stable pelvis. It's okay. good. Okay, your skin is reacting, but sorry. <laughs> okay, you can definitely see it. I'm gonna put my hands on your back. Your skin definitely react more than the upper left and the lower right to the palpation. So that's an indication there where we need to look a little bit deeper. Okay, now I'm gonna push deeper into the spine. Ticklish or tender? Ticklish. Okay, just try to let yourself relax as much as possible. Left or right, which is more tender here? Right. Good. Nice gentle breathing. Go ahead and try to let your shoulders sink in as much as possible. Okay, even there, yeah, that's fine. Good job. Good. The tension in the spine here, the mid. And the right thoracic, mid right thoracic. Good, is this tender here? Mm, my right side. Good, okay, shoulders relax as much as you can, gentle breathing. Tender? My mm, right side. Is this side tender? Not so much, no. Right, so you're much more ticklish on the right side, it seems like, because this is where the tension is, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Terrible? Mm, tender. There's some tension. This is a rhomboid muscle, tender point. Good, so we definitely have some transition stuff here to work on. Some here, some little bit of stuff here, a little bit of stuff here. Let's push into the lower back. I'm gonna push down into your right SI joint. Do you have any pain, discomfort when I push right here? Mm -hmm, on the right side. Okay, what about here on the left side? Mm, no. Not as much. Okay, I'm gonna push into the L5. Do you have any discomfort tension here? Mm -mm. L4, discomfort tension here. Mm -mm. Okay, down into the sacrum again, tension here. Yeah. And you feel more on the right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's palpate the SI joints from the seated, from this position. Okay, right and left, do these feel the same? Mm, the right is more tender. Okay, lower SI, right and left, do these feel the same? Mm, yeah. Okay. Your hips like this, we'll put the right hip up like this, good, down. Good, and then lift the left leg up like this, good, and down. Okay, I'm gonna push back down into the right hip. Do you still have that same discomfort tension? Mm -mm. It's less? Mm Good, nice gentle breathing. Let the shoulders sink in, let your neck and head relax. There you go, let's go.
nice gentle breathing. Okay, let's practice one first, just so you can feel what it's like. If you're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, I'm gonna follow your breath out like this. At the end of your breath, we'll give a little push, okay? Good, sinking and letting your shoulders go, gentle, gentle. How's that pressure, okay? Okay, gentle breathing in through your nose and out. Following the shoulders down. Mm. Good shoulders sinking in. Mm. And, and then as you breathe out at the top of your breath, that's when I push, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and give it a try. Deep breath in and out. Good shoulders relax. Bottom leg stays straight. We're gonna bend the top leg. Okay, nice gentle breathing in through your nose and out. Good shoulder coming up, coming down. Good. Can I have back? That was good. <laughs> good sinking and shoulders. Good. Can I have back? That was changed already. Let's go and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Turn your head to the left. Back to center. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center. Left ear down to your shoulder. Center.
Good, we're gonna follow the breath, and as you breathe out, nice and gentle, we're gonna push like that, okay? Yeah, right. Good, nice and gentle. Good, that's perfect. One more time in. Good, sinking in. Ooh. Good? Mm-hmm. Yes, very good. Good, that confirms. Now let's go for it here. Nice gentle breathing. You're letting your head drop down into the table, sinking in. Good, letting the head go, letting it drop. There you go. Good, we're gonna bring it over. <laughs> Go let your foot relax. Let it relax. <laughs> It is an ankle adjustment. We pull down in this direction like this. Okay, now let's just hip relax here just a little bit. Good. Good. Okay, let this relax. Good. Okay, we're gonna give this a little pull in this direction. Put my fist in between your knees. Okay, go ahead and squeeze as hard as you can. Did you feel it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Okay, relax. Okay, so we're gonna locate first by finding your belly button. Yours is there, and then your ASIS, front of your hip bone here. We connect these two points, and then from there we start looking for the ileocecal valve. Is this tender? Mm, a little bit, but not bad. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go to the pyloric sphincter. This is where the stomach empties into the small intestine, two inches above the belly button. This is more active right now, so there's more food here. This is working. Your stomach is releasing. It's working. We don't want to. We don't want to pressure it too much. It's doing its job. Okay. Now uh, the next is a diaphragm manipulation. So we're gonna go around the diaphragm. Do you know how to belly breathe? Perfect. Yeah. Where'd you learn how to do that at? Choir. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very common uh, uh, response to that question. <laughs> okay. Singers know how to diaphragm breathe. So do babies, infants, and uh, all human beings. We start off diaphragmatic breathing. It's not until we get older and like the anxiety of life starts to kick in that mm -hmm. we just like start to chest breathe and shoulder breathe. Like this is tension breathing when you're like with your shoulders all the time. But like nice relaxed breathing is using the belly and the diaphragm. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do some belly breathing while I palpate the diaphragm. I'm gonna start on the left side of the diaphragm here. Nice deep belly breathing. One more deep breath in.
Okay, I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go like this, just like the other adjustments I'm following your breathing. As you breathe out, we're gonna stretch the spine in this direction like that, and at the end of your breath, we give a little pull, okay? Okay. Okay, you're good. All you have to do is breathe. Go and take a deep breath in. And out. Good. Keep your teeth together. Good, we'll follow the next breath out. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. And sink in. Shoulders and hips. Just let it all go as you breathe. Oh. A little tight. Where? Like in between my shoulder blades. Shoulder blades. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, you're feeling it still. Yeah. That's okay. That feeling will dissipate. But I still feel very relieved. I almost feel as if it kind of fixed my posture. It's a... Okay, good. A little easier to stand up straight. Mm -hmm. I feel very relaxed. Good. Look up at the ceiling. We have the high left shoulder, so we're going to come down like this. Good. Keep squeezing. Oh, Oops, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Good. Left wrist, right? No, mm -hmm. right wrist. No, it's the left. Oh, it's the left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing. Harder. Harder. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and relax. Okay, right side push. Push, push. Harder. Mm. Yes. Okay, nice, gentle breathing in through your nose. Okay, let's give it a try. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Just let it relax. Gentle. Ooh. Good. 